Find the area of the region enclosed by the curve y is equal to 1 over x, the x-axis, and the lines x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 1. Now the area is given by from minus 3 to minus 1 of 1 over x dx. Now we know if we integrate 1 over x dx, we get ln of x plus c. So what happens when we put in minus 1? We can't take the logarithm of a negative number. If we look at the graph, the area that we are required to find is this one here, A1. But we notice from the similarity of the graph, it's the same as this area here, A2. So to get round this idea of not being able to put a negative number in, we know from the graph, if we did minus this one, from minus 3 to minus 1, it would be equal from the same as the integral from 1 to 3 of 1 over x. So what we do to get round this, we would put in what's known as the modulus sign here, which means if we put in here uh, uh, minus 1, we just take ln of 1. Okay, so notice the use of the modulus sign when we integrate things like 1 over x. So this is going to be ln of minus 1, putting the, substituting in the limits, minus ln of minus 3. The, LN, the modulus sign means ignore the, um, the minus sign, so we're going to have ln of 1 minus ln of 3. And we know from our rules of logarithms, log a of x over y is equal to log a of x minus log a of y. So we're going to have ln of 1 over 3. Notice it's the same as ln of 3 to the minus 1. So if we've got log a of x to the r, we get r a log a of x. So we've got 3 to the minus 1. So this will become equal to minus ln of 3. Notice the minus sign means that the area is below the x-axis. However, if we did this integral for this area here, 1 over 3, 1 over x, get ln of modulus of uh, uh, x between 1 and 3, and putting in ln of 3 minus ln of 1, we get ln of 3. So it all sort of makes sense, okay? So when we're doing the integral of the reciprocal functions, we need to put in the definite integral, we need to put in the modulus sign.